noise. Amen. He said, let them make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. He said, now, let us come before his presence with thanksgiving. Wherever you are, can you say, thank you, Jesus? Thank you, Jesus. You're not saying it louder. Thank you, Jesus. You can say it better. Come and say it louder. Say it louder. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Take your seat. Why are we thanking him? He spoke expressly. And his word find fulfillment. We had 12 hours of a common praise March 2019. And on that night, under the tent, the word of the Lord God came forth according to how he has intended. And the law said, a sanctuary shall be built. There was a full expression of how it would go. And we believe him. And we trust him. And we received all that he has said. The Bible gives account concerning Abraham. He said, Abraham, look up to God. He trusted God and it was counted unto him for righteousness. We're thanking God because he brought to pass everything he has said. Everything. Are you with me? Everything. And we started out of nothing. We started with $200. We trusted heaven. We were still under the tent when we were laying the foundation of the place of a counter. There was no cement on the ground. We were missing sand and stone together. And look, Lord, if you said it, if you said it, do it. All we had was the cement and sand. But you need, you need, all we had was sand and stone, but you need the cement to solidify it. And we're all folding our hands. Lord, do what you say you will do. Without speaking to anyone, Roland drove in with the truck. A loser. If God commands it, he provides for it. If God commands it, he provides for it. And we trusted him. The place of a counter came. He asked us to leave and to move into the place of a counter. And 2020, I miss COVID. We started laying the foundation of this place. We're thanking God that he is faithful to the hand. There is a faithfulness of God that how far it can bring you is at the foundation level. Are you following me right now? And you get stuck there. He still remain faithful. There is a faithful of God. You will put something on the DPC, on the foundation. And that's all you are looking up to. But today, we are seeing the evidence of all God has made provision for now, don't you like what you're saying? 
By Wednesday this week, the floor insulation would have, must have been done. Are you following me right now? Meaning that by the time you come next week, there's another addition. We're thanking God because he daily loads us with his benefits. The assurance of faith that what he says is committed to doing. Are you with me right now? We're not just open for the answer. We are in the answer. Can you make some Holy Ghost noise? Can you make some Holy Ghost noise? Amen. Why are we thanking God? We're thanking God because when there was no money in the post, we were building. Building without money. Three banks came. Three banks came. Came in here. This is how we give churches loan. This is how we have helped them. C, church A, church B, church C. You don't have to struggle. I said, keep quiet here. If God has not commanded, and if God will not give us, let no man give us. And today, this edifice is standing debt free. No loan was taken in any form in any hour. We trusted God and he never failed us. So we are thanking God for being faithful to the hand. Why are we thanking God? Psalm 95 and verse 3 for the Lord is a great God for the Lord is is the Bible did not say for the Lord will be great for the Lord is a great God and a great king above all gods so we are thanking God because we saw his greatness now listen to me. Everyone under the sound of my voice, wherever you are across the world, whether you're watching on site, online, or anywhere, I'm speaking right now because you have witnessed the answer. The mighty hand of God, the great hand of God will work out your greatness. I can't hear your loud amen. I can't Hear your Lord. Amen. So the journey of your life is possible now. Anytime you remember the answer, just remember that everything is possible now in your life. Are you with me right now? Everything is possible. Everything is possible now. Now. No, no, no. In verse 4, Psalm 95 and verse 4. The Bible says, In his hand are the deep places of the head. The strength, the strength of the heels are also his. The strength of the heels. So if any man demonstrates strength, it's because God is the giver. Is somebody follow me right now? It's because God is what is the giver. So we are thanking the giver. Verse 5. The sea is his. He made it. So we are thanking God who can form all things. 
I thought somebody shouting a loud hallelujah. Yeah. Who can what? Form all things. How many of you remember when the Lord spoke about the covenant? About the covenant of the pillar. And when he gave us the hidden secret of Bethel. Jacob said, the Lord has been in this place and I knew it not. And he began to tell us how it will be. There will be an overflow here. We were just seeing it and he, what happens? He is forming it. And then a staircase will go like this. Another one will come down here. This whole place will be dead. We were seeing it and he was forming it what he didn't form is what we didn't see are you listening we were seeing it he was forming it we saw the children church he formed it we saw the place for nursing mother he formed it we saw the classrooms he formed it We saw the offices. He formed it. We even saw the road. He formed it. The hand of the Lord do it valiantly. The hand of the Lord is upon the sea. May the mighty hand of God find expression on your life. The Bible says, and his hand form the dry land. His hand form the dry land. Somebody told me, you must be a fool to remove the tent. Can you just imagine that we allow the emotion? You know, sometimes when God has done something for you, you think that's the best that God can do. And you are holding it so tightly to yourself that you don't want to let it go. And God is saying, Son, give it out. Son, give it out. Son, let it go. Son, release it. And you say, Lord, hold on a little while. The vision of God is yet for an appointed time. If you miss the appointed time, you have lost the opportunity for a lifetime celebration. Can I pray for you by the word of the Lord? May you receive grace to follow instructions promptly. May you receive grace to follow instructions promptly. May you receive grace to follow instructions promptly. Yeah. Why are we thanking God? We're thanking God because he has given us a new song. Because he has given us a new song. Last week, if you do yourself a favor, listen again to last week message it will go a long way to help you and help your journey in life there I share the secret of how everything happened are you listening carefully how all of this became a reality I share the secret of how in my mind I failed about 57 times in trying to achieve this place. And I began to itemize in my mind how not to fail doing this. In my mind, how I process everything to victory. Are you following me right now? Now today, there is no critical thinking anymore. There is no how will it be? There is now but a new song. 
and I'm speaking over your life the God that did not fail this commission I'm talking about you your God that made these things that you heard four years ago a reality that God will not fail you so we are thanking God for a new song <laughs> Thank you, Lord Jesus. I won't let go. I won't let go. Jesus took me by the hands. I won't let go. I won't let go. I won't let go. Jesus took me by the hands. I won't tell your neighbor, don't let go his hands. I won't let go. Jesus took me by. I won't let go. Just tell your neighbor, don't let go his hands. Tell them no matter what, if you want your song to be glorious, don't let go his hands. If you want your songs to be very glorious, don't let go his hands. Psalm 96 and verse 1. Sing to him a new song. Sing unto the Lord all the earth. Now I want to give you an opportunity. There is a song in your own heart that another person is not singing. I want you to sing that your own song now. So that we can make a noise out of every individual song to God. Come and sing your own out. Make your voice louder than your neighbor. Just come and say your own. Don't play the string for them. Sing your own. Just sing your own. <laughs> Amen. Why are we thanking God? Amen. Why are we thanking God? To bless His name. To bless His name. Why? His name brought us here. His name gave us victory. His name gave us victory. That at the mention of the name, every knee we must bow. Knees bow here. And every tongue must confess that Jesus is Lord. We were contending here with a very thick old of darkness. When I mean a thick old, a very strong old of darkness. Now, because the church is privileged to just be, is the adjacent or opposite now towards the burial ground. And there are many manifestations of evil spirit, different kinds. And all contention needed to go. How do you subdue them? Not in your father's name, but Jesus in your name we have come. Jesus in your name we have come. Jesus in your name we have come. Jesus in your name. And today, for what his name did, we are thanking him. A friend of mine spoke to me some time ago and he said, let's meet this great servant of God. And we were before the great servant of God. And he said to me that, I see where you have the church. There is so much darkness all over. I said, I'm aware, sir. He said, but I'd like to tell you, it will be very, very tough to have anything successful come out of that place. I say, sir, if you are the one on that land, it might be very tough for you to handle. But with me, nothing has ever been that tough. Because tough things don't last. Tough people do. 
<laughs> I said, I am tougher than the challenges. I am tougher than the problem. I am tougher because I know the name Jesus. I speak to every tough situation in your life, on your destiny. And I decree by the name of Jesus, you are coming out. I sent a message to that friend. We never discussed after that four years. I said, do you remember we met a prophet? I said, yes. I said, can I tell you something? On that land where there is thick darkness, I've not been able to tell you, but we have spent over 700 million and we have built a church. He said, it's a lie. It was never where we were building. I said, we have done great thing there. Excellent thing. And I said to him, it will be wise for you to come and see. Hello? Hello? Whatever they have told you that you cannot achieve. Now, God sent me to you now. Whatever they have told you. Maybe they said it to you or in dream. Whatever they have told you, you cannot achieve whatever they say you cannot become that you saw yourself becoming i speak now in the mighty name of jesus may you surpass it this amen is lukewarm whatever they say you can't carry whatever they say you can't handle whatever they say will never be yours i decree by the power in the name of jesus May you undo it. Take your seat. Why are we thanking him? To declare his glory among the hidden. His wonders among all people. Psalm 96 and verse 3. To declare his glory among the hidden and his wonders among all people. It's just nine days to the emergence of territorial command. And guess what? <laughs> you will come back in here and you will not be able to notice this all. Because the glory of God will fill this place supernatural hello sir a friend a great minister of God in the city of Abuja great very great bless he came to my office and we had a chat I've always admired everything about them you know then we were we were using um, wallpaper upstairs and I used to admire her because when I see him ministering, I see the big screen, I see the lights, I see all the steeds or what do you call it. So I said, you guys are doing excellently well. He said, God is faithful, you know. Uh, workers are doing a great job. I said, what are, what's the workers doing? Because I was expecting God doing a great job. So he said, the workers are doing a great job. I don't have to put too much headache on my head. I said, hey, explain to me, tell me about it. And he said, all the heads of the department have a target. A compelling target that must move the heart of everyone. I said, explain to me. He said, you think we own the screen? You think we own the speakers? You think we own the mic? I said, but that is going to be too much. He said, but all the heads have a compelling target. There is a department, maybe the department of the choir. Their own is to make sure that every Sunday there is speaker. There is a department, their own is to make sure that there is screen. The payment of the screen is their own body. There is a department, their own is to make sure all cable is working. I say, eh? 
So I dragged him. I asked him, sit down. And I opened the scripture. It says, and I began to explain to him that if he should die now, he will rot in hell. Because he's not doing the counsel of the Lord. He said, the shepherd is going further. And my people are going thinner. I said, because the people will never have a focus for their life. All, they have been compelled. They are under compulsion. They are not thinking. They are running a race. They are not supposed to be running. That day, I made sure they bought the four stage monitor from me. I took the money. I start selling to them one by one. And then when he left, I went upstairs to go and thank God for wallpaper. At least I did not compel somebody to put wallpaper there. Are you following me right now? Neither are we renting wallpaper. Hello. There is nothing inside this hall that is here on rentage. Are you listening to me? There is nothing. That, why, why are we thanking God for his strange works? Take note of that. His strange works. And something strange is about to happen in your life. Let me explain strange works to you. You want this thing. Everything is telling you it will not work. Are you following me right now? You want to carry a child. Medically, he's saying it will not work. Scientifically, he's saying it will not work. Physically, you can tell that there is something in you or inside of you that will not make it work. Is somebody listening to me? That is, so it becomes strange work when what should what when what shouldn't work is working then you say it is strange working so it is what strange work i was not supposed to carry this belly but i don't know how they asked him how come you he said i was born blind but the one who met me say now see is somebody following me right now? Strange works. Now I'm speaking right now. Standing on the efficacy of the strange works that Jesus has done. And I say over your life, in your life, and in your home, right now, where you are and where you are seated or standing, may God perform his strange works in your life. They told us they are no more giving approval for churches. They are no more giving approval for churches. You can't have approval for church. Church, forget about it. They stopped approval long ago. I said, that's their problem. If God asks us to start now, he will bring it out. He will bring it out. And they said, no. I said, don't worry. If he has said it, he will give it to you. God told me now, your answer is before you. Anything you are looking for, anything, 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 I'm speaking now. Whether you need a child, anything you are looking for, you will see the mighty hand of God in October. Uh, amen. Your amen is lukewarm. Your, your amen is lukewarm anything i'm saying it now anything in the name of jesus anything you are looking for in the mighty name of jesus anything anything you are looking for anything you are looking for if your amen is the loudest it is your own i decree now it will find expression on your life it will find expression on your life it will find expression you can make it louder make your amen louder make 
your amen louder. Make your amen louder. For his strange works. Take care of it. For his strange works. Psalm 96 and verse 4. For the Lord is great and greatly to be praised. He is to be feared above all gods. You know why we are praising God? Because he helped us to fear nothing. I will explain to you. In general language, we just come and say, sir, we need 586 length of 20 mm TMT rods. And then they will come back, sir, we need 144 tons of 16 mm rods, sir. There was no budget you're not listening for this project. We did not sit down to say there was no, no fund reserved anywhere. The only thing we had as a mean of resources is the Lord promised us. The Lord told us. So when they say we need iron, we just, I will just come down and look for a piece of, I said, which one do you need? He said 20 mm. So I would look for around and pick a broken 20 mm. I would take a walk. 20 mm road. You are needed here. Why? Because the Bible says he's the God of a gain. And again, I'd like you to listen. The God of what? Of a gain. And again. So all I needed, if I can find it on site, it means he did it before. Are you listening right now? Meaning he can do it again. You don't understand. Let me tell you how that secret helped me in building. Let me tell you how. We wanted a child desperately. And the Lord told me, I gave Anyafe to the online curse. I said, eh? so what does Anyafe got to do to me? He says, if you carry Anyafe and tell me the way I brought Anyafe, I should bring your own to you. Hey, I will give you your own. I said, is that all? And we began to carry Anyafe till we borrowed Anyafe from his parents. Went to Studio 24 here and took a family picture with Anyafe, a child that is not hers. Wake up. We carried the picture, celebrate the picture. Make it glorious. A friend asked me, how is your family doing? I said, we're doing well. He said, what about your children? I said, he's excellently fine. He said, ah, is there a son? I said, yes, there is. He wanted to be so sure. I threw the picture to him. To keep quiet. And you know what, the, what God did? My wife's birthday was drawn closer. And she took Anyafe. I'd like you to wake up. Took Anyafe to her office. Everybody was taking, asking her, is this your baby? Yes, my baby. My, do you know what it is to stoop so low, carry another person's child to walk on your birthday and say, this is my child. We are celebrating birthday. We were together. Hello, Farhan Tabarakebu. Your miracle is before you. You are just looking somewhere else. All you need to, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. God has a producing force. The same God that has a producing force. Once he has created one thing once, he will not create it twice. All he do is to reproduce. That's why he said to you, go ye forth to the earth and reproduce after your kind. So when you see a child that is smart and you like to have a smart child, move closer to that child and breathe you see a home walking where the couples love themselves so much. Move closer. Sow a seed. You don't need to give them money. Just take them for a lunch for lunch or buy them drink. 
fire picked the rod. 20 mm. You are needed. We are thanking God for strange works. Strange works. I don't think in my lifetime I will finish talking about the hidden secrets that gave birth to this place. Is it the place of when God spoke? I'm taking you to a land flowing with milk and honey. You remember what he told us? He said a land where there is no scarceness. Benga, isn't that what he said? A land where there is no what scarceness. And so material was not scarce. Cement was not scarce. We didn't need money to buy it. We only need voice to call it forth. And we did what? We call it forth. Hey, remember me. Remember thanking God. Take your seat. We are thanking God for the gift of men. There is no useless man. No matter who they are around you, everyone is important. One of the strangest things we'll enjoy here was the gift of men. And when I mean the gift of men, I mean God rightly positioning the right people around you promptly for prompt results. The gift of men. You guys are wonderful. You made the work easy. You didn't just give your best. You gave your sweat, your heart, your life. Now listen, every one of you under the sound of my voice. My God is indebted to you. Listen, my God is owing you. And I ask him today anything you ever want I ask in the name Jesus let him give you in return for your labor you're not hearing me let him give in return for your labor I thought you were saying it loud amen let it listen carefully i'm not talking of dear god my god the one who sent me yeshua al masia the almighty el gibbon el shada i speak in the name of jesus let him reward you bountifully the gift of men take your seat what are we going to do, oh God, 
what are we going to do? Because at every phase I ask him, what are we going to do? How are we going to do it? He says, son, uh, Ojokile is coming. I say, how can he come? He needs to feed his family. No, I'm, I'm bringing him. Don't worry. When he's around you, I will take care of him. He had a good job. Everything was good, Rosie. And he left his job at Dangote. And he's coming on site. He grown up, man. That has family to feed. And he sacrificed everything. Gave his time and his all. And God said, now that he's around you, you begin to think. Let him execute what you are thinking. And we began to work as a team. At diverse time, both of us will come take a walk around and say, Dickie, what do we need God to do again? He says, ah, this one, this one, this one. So, it's okay. Let's go to the office. We'll go to the office. We'll sit down together. And say, Father, since this is the next thing to do, we call it forth. And then before we know, one of you will just come walk in and say, sir, I came with this. Sir, I came with this. Another lady will come in. I came with this. Another will come in. I came with this. I said, okay, can you see it now? When they spoke to us about the acoustic bricks, listen carefully. I bought the first 1,600 blocks. And a thousand was costing us one thousand dollars because we're not buying the normal blocks. So I said to Dicky, Are you sure this? Just like when Samuel was looking for his father's ass, the right man was beside him, the very right man. And the right man said to himself, There is a prophet in the land. He will show us the way. So Dicky said, Sir, is it not God has been doing it all this way? Eh, if he has given us the first one, he will bring the second. And what happened? He will bring the third. He will bring the fourth. And he will bring the fifth. So we're looking at the bricks. We're admiring the bricks. Giving thanks for the bricks. And suddenly, another person came in. One of you here walked in. He said, I like these bricks. They are special. And so we said, we bought the first one. And a thousand is one thousand dollars. So I left him. When I left him, him and Dickin had a discussion. And he said to Dickin, I will buy one thousand each week. Every week. So, Week upon week, this guy sent Dickin one thousand dollars. And when Dickin, we go ahead, purchase work. I'll come and say, What's this? He says, Sir, God has brought the brooks. The following week, they come again, drop another one thousand. I said, Dickin, what happened? He said, The camel, the donkeys on the ears have brought this. Now, listen. For 16 weeks. Never failed once. No discussion with the pastor. But with the dickie. One of us. Was buying the acoustic bricks. Was sending him one. He was sending $1,000. Not giving him dinner. He was giving him $1,000. And we changed it equivalent. Because we were buying it from the Turkish he was changing it and he was giving them for 16 weeks the gift of men. Not be the one where you go come sit for your. You know, we don't have special seats. Let's say, say this one big man, don't come church now. I better give him a special seat. Or pastor even stand up for his seat. He says, sir, please just sit. sit, sit. I know they just walk in. They, they walk in when message is almost done now. And pastor will just pause. He said, let us recognize Mr. Lagoja. No. The only one who is recognized here is Jesus. The gift of men. 
we were going to roof one of my daughter here she's in service walked in and said sir don't worry this is the first face now, that first face was able to cover divided by three he said I don't want you to sweat too much the gift of man tap your neighbor say you need men tell him you need men you better say it it's the last prayer I'm going to pray here that men from unexpected quarters the right helper not the one that will sit on your vein but people that will help you and remove their eyes they will help you and remove their eyes let me explain something to you one of my son he got refused the US visa so I said how come you were that they just turned you down I said when you took the pillar what were the things you wrote so he began to tell me how he wants his family to be I said go back to the pillar now go and talk to God I didn't pray for him he went to his own pillar stood there and told God then he went back the third week he got the visa his family got the visa listen carefully he got into the US and in eight months, in eight months, they got papers to resident in the US. Listen, listen, listen. Now, I'm sharing the testimony of the young man who was giving $1,000. So he came, when he traveled and then he came back home, he said, Pastor, I saw that it, you can actually buy a house in the US. I said, yeah. I said but you should buy work. And I laughed. Yeah. How do I use Naira to buy? I said, but you have sown a seed to God. So I prayed for him. And then he traveled back. By the time he traveled, right there, all he needed to pay, maybe 20% you drop of the house. So by the time he was coming back, he said, Pastor, I paid 70% and I bought the mansion. You know why? God does not use men and dump them. How many of you here need men? Stand on your feet. It's the last prayer I'm going to pray. The gift of men. We didn't need ten. And I'd like you to listen to this testimony. At every phase of the ministry, God always sends on. We didn't need ten. We were struggling. This is Pastor Benga looking for how to pay the church rent in life camp. We were looking for 2.5 million naira. All we had was 2.3. 200,000 became elder brother. And so, Lord, how are we going to get this money? The Lord says, Son, there's a woman that came to the church on Sunday. Look for her. You are telling God, how are we going to pay rent? And he's telling you, there's a woman that came to church on Sunday. Look for her. And then look, begin to, woman, plenty of women came now. Oh God, began to look at it. And then as I was looking at all the names, he said, this one. I said, this one. So I trace her. You know, when God tells you like that, and you're looking for money, what's the first thing that comes to mind? That she will give you money. That the woman has money. Are you not following me? They are told you, because I don't know who came. I don't know how she looked. Oh, maybe God want me to go and look for her. So I went. I was looking for the number. And I got to number 6 Ebitukue Street. It was an uncompleted building. I said, God, it can't be here. You know when you speak in tongue to God? When God is talking to you and you speak in tongue, God, it's like you are not seeing. It can't be here. So I move in. I call the number. The woman said, yes. I said, I'm in front of her. She said, that's where she lives. I said, ah, can you live in uncompleted? I moved up and she was pregnant. Pregnant, living in uncompleted building. I said, ah. I called Pastor Benga. I called Mrs. David Subba. I said, no. 
We have to find a place for this human affair. We forgot about our rent. We forgot about, we shared the money in total. Look for house for them. Gave it to, we didn't know we were securing a future. <laughs> and we had six days to go. If we don't meet up the rent, the church will be on the road. And they will say, where is their God? But when instruction, instruction, instruction goes ahead of you. <laughs> the victory is guaranteed. We did that. We took the other one. I said, since the money is no longer enough, we began to pieces it. We took the other one as a seat. Now we were looking up to God. And then Shende said, sir, this compound is just wide like this. Let's take a walk around. I said, we, we have prayed for this woman. Let's go and look for church money. He says, sir, let's take a walk. So we took a walk. And eventually we saw a hall inside the uncompleted building. It, it was not attract. Let me tell you something. Anything horrible, anything poverty, anything, it, I do, it, my life doesn't attract it. My wife wanted to pity me. She was pitying me as a woman who should stick to her husband. She pitied me. The agent was looking for a house for us. Drove us. Brrr, we passed Asok. My tama. Brrr, we passed Asokro. He was showing me good things till we got to AYA. And brrr, he took me to. I said, Oh, Benny, where are we going? He says, You will love this place. Brrr, Jikoi. Jikoi too. And the guy is not entering. I said, oh, Benny, Hold on, hold on, hold on. My wife was saying to me, let's go, let's go. Because, not because she wanted it, but because she wants to pity me. She knows there is nothing in my purse. It doesn't mean I should eat the dog's meal. I, so I told the guy, I said, it's like the car I drove. If something is under the boot. Can you help me come down and check it? As soon as he came down, check it, vroom. That's, that's the last time we saw. Do you know what would have happened to us? My wife would be tying up on her breast, even on a Sunday morning. He asked Leah, two congo of rice. Mama found, sir, and there are many in there. Choose your part. Don't limit a limitless God. And guess what? So I said to Shende, since we saw this all, let's thank God and walk up us. So, Lord, thank you for this all that we saw. It means where you have prepared, you will make the provision. And I heard the Lord say to me, I brought you here to say to you here, Lord, how can you say to me here? There is no, where we left, there is AC, there is this, this, and God told me, right there standing, what do you want here? And I start telling him, I need chairs. I need AC. I need this floor to be raised up. And I wrote everything there. As I was talking to him, it was 16.5 million. You know, when you God ask you and you want to frustrate God, you want to tell God it's not possible, you want to frustrate him. So I wrote it. As soon as we came outside, the Lord said, send for my daughter, Amaka. That's what thing God will give you his instruction. I'm talking about the gift of man. He's instructing you to the right person. When he's telling you to go and meet the right person, even if you have been rude to that person, humble yourself. Are you listening to me? Oh, because at that time, that person has what you need to move up to the next phase. Humble yourself. Lord, you've been speaking the message to me. Why do I need to go and meet a young girl? He said, go and meet Amaka. Amaka, God said, I should meet you about this all. You will fix it. And then Amaka make all the inquiries and discover the one who is in charge, their friend. And Amaka pressed button for that. And then he said, my pastor will come and say, Lord, can I go now? And God said, no, nah, you can now go. One man, not two. We came in contact with that one man. 
and look at me. He said, the Lord has been telling me about you will come into my life. I said, it's not me. Then eventually when I asked that, I'm looking for him. They say, he's the one. Here. I said, yeah, God sent me. And eventually one man came with all of his family. Gave us access to the same all. And in fact, he said, how would this be? I said, see, I already have what we need here. Do you know how you went to a place and you are telling the owner, he said, how much do you have to pay? I said, it's 900. He said, sir, if you want to negotiate, say we've got a million, about a million. I said, what do you mean about a million? 900 I get. I don't get about a million. He said to me, if somebody comes to offer 10 million, we say, okay, there's another man who offered about a million. They are all in million, million level. I said, no, now 900 I get. As we took a walk past, the Lord spoke to him. Raise an altar. On that same day, he wrote a check of 17.5 million naira. Hello. If God, just imagine. I am overwhelmed with paying rent in life camp. And he ignored the voice of God to go and see a pregnant woman and deny the access of letting go what is in my hand as a seed that must go down. For this, we got house for the woman. They got a beautiful house and we thought we have a church member. Guess what? The, the, the week after we got them a house, they left the church comfortably. And so I want God said the assignment is done in your life. Should I shock you? When we met them, they were nobody. Today, I'm talking to you. She and the husband are pastors. I'm I'm telling you now. We never knew we were sowing a seed that would create a platform for their own assignment. If we had held on to them, the assignment God wanted them to fulfill would not fulfill. And guess what? We wouldn't have moved forward because she needs to go. For us to move. So, when you are privileged to help anybody, don't be too attached to it. God gave the seed, gave you an opportunity to do it. It's not you. Are you ready for it? The gift of man. In the next two minutes, I will pray over it. This same one man, God used him as a landlord to pay for this land. The gift of man. How do you have your landlord in Abuja? Hello, sir. I might not know anything. See? I have a hearing ear like O Y O. I ask him, Lord, what will happen in the place where you are taking us to? This building. And he said to me, Luke 5, 17. They came from every city, from the old corner. The teachers of laws were there, the doctors were there. And as he was teaching, the power of God was present to heal. I said, what does that mean? He said, there was answers everywhere. That's why he called it the place of answer. He said, you will come here and you will be teaching easily freely. He said, miracles will be taking place. People will be getting out of witches. Miracles. You will, you will not be administering anything. He was not. He was not. He said, it is the place of answer. I'm only telling you now so you take record. Because there are going to be commotions of miracles. When we see, we'll just be teaching. And then you just hear someone say, I can now hear from my left ear. I can see where now. The unimaginable help. Now stretch your hand and receive it. Because he's the God of again and again. The one who has given me the gift of man. I speak over your life now. Irrespective of your problems and challenges. May the God of heaven send you man. May the good God send you man. May God send you help us may you at the place of work may you at the field may you at home may you when you come in have access to the right man I speak by the authority of life in Christ Jesus 
God will send you helpers. God will send you helpers. So shall it be. Lift your hands and exhort him. Give him all the glory. Give him all the honor. Give him all adoration. He has done us well. Open your mouth and exalt him. Praise God.